case to, writer's block, social issues on the inside. After the success of the telescope, other Kingston prisons started their own newsletters. Although the format was similar in that most had a sports column, humor section, and a census, each one had its own style and tone. Each newsletter was produced by the inmates, and most of the writing was done by the editors. The Joyceville Journal from Joyceville Prison, or the Villa on the Rideau, as the inmates refer to it, was produced in the same format and carried many of the same features that one would find in a newspaper. Featured in this copy from March 1965 is an article on capital punishment. The C.B. Diamond from Collins Bay Penitentiary from July 1954 is open to a story from the Ottawa Citizen entitled Put Them to Work that strongly supports inmates working for their keep. The editors of the Diamond are in support of this suggestion and heartily endorse it. Another issue of the Diamond from 1956 asks the question, do you feel that you have lost or gained by your incarceration? And the answers given are quite thought-provoking. The Odyssey newsletter from Millhaven stands apart from the other newsletters in this case in that the tone is much different. One can almost feel the tension coming off the pages. In a 1962 memo to the liaison officer for the KP Telescope, instruction is given to have all gossip and greeting columns removed from future publications, as they, quote, do not serve any purpose. Around this time, the style, the format, and the editor committees of the newsletters start to change. Juxtaposed to these hard-hitting articles are images on loan from the Canadian Penitentiary Museum showing inmates from KP in 1962 enjoying recreational activities. 